Okay, to start off with a stack navigator, first thing we're going to have to do is set up a file to actually store our navigation. I like to put this in a config directory, which I've already got, and then inside of there, I'll go ahead and create a navigation.js file. Inside of here, we're going to need to import React because we're using JSX. I'm also going to import navigation container from at react dash navigation slash native. I'm also going to import create stack navigator from at react navigation slash stack. We'll then want to import the screens, which are going to be contact list from dot dot forward slash screen slash contacts list. It's actually a contacts list. Import contact details from dot dot forward slash screens contact details. Now to create a stack navigator, first we need to create a an instance of it. So we'll say contacts stack is equal to create stack navigator. Now we can go ahead and create a contacts stack screen, which is just going to return a component. Now this contacts stack has a na dot navigator and a dot screen on it. For our actual stack, we're going to use contacts stack dot navigator. We're creating a navigator. And then inside of here, we can go ahead and add our screen. So we'll say contacts stack dot screen. We're going to give it a name, contacts list. And we also need to assign it a component. In this case, it's going to be contacts list. We can go ahead and close that. We'll copy it and we'll do another one for our contact details. Now to use this, we need to wrap all of our navigators in a navigation container. So from our navigation file, I'm just going to go ahead and return a component which wraps everything in a navigation container. And then inside of there, I'll go ahead and render my contact stack screen. Now to use this, we'll go ahead and go to our app slash index.js. And rather than screen, I'm going to go ahead and import navigation from dot dot forward slash, rather just dot forward slash config slash navigation. We can then go ahead and register our navigator or rather return our navigator. And once that refreshes, you can see we've got a contacts list. We've got a navigation bar up there and everything works the way before. Now when we press one of these list items, it doesn't do anything. So to change that, we'll actually go to our contacts list screen. So app screens contacts list. And inside of here, whenever you register a screen with a navigator, any navigator in React Navigation, so just like we are here, contact stack.screen, we're assigning a component to it. React Navigation is going to go ahead and add a few props to it, one of those being navigation. So we can go ahead and pull navigation off of the props. And then from this navigation prop, we've got access to a few different methods. In this case, we're going to be using navigation.push. We're pushing a new screen onto the stack. And then that first argument just needs to be the name of the screen we want to go to. In this case, we want to go to contact details. And by doing so, when we click, we can see we go to a contacts details screen and we're accessing that information. Now, if we go to our actual contact details screen, what we can actually do, let's go ahead and import React and import text from React Native. And just like before, we've got access to the navigation prop, we've also got access to the route parameter. And what we can do with route is actually look at different parameters we can pass between screens. So say we want to pass this entire user object over to our contact details screen. What we can do is pass a second argument to push in which we pass the data we're interested in. So we can say contact is going to equal the item. So the item is an individual contact here. To access that information on the contact details, we can go ahead and just like we had navigation, we also have access to a route parameter. And this route parameter has information about the route. What we're interested in now is the actual params that come along with it. So we can go ahead and say const contact info is equal to route.params.contact. 
because that's where we pass the information on this contact object. So what we can do with this is actually go ahead and return a text component. And inside of here, we're going to go ahead and json.stringify, because this is going to be an object, the contact info. And then we can actually go ahead and format that by passing second and third argument of null and two. Now when we go to look at the actual contact detail screen, we can see all of the information that was passed to the next screen. I can't scroll because this isn't a scrollable screen, but we can see all of this different information that was passed via params in React Navigation.